Hi, welcome to this QuickBooks video. This is the second in a series that we're doing uh, over the um, accountant's copy feature in QuickBooks. We're using QuickBooks 2015 in this example. And in the first video, what we did is we created an accountant's copy and we sent that to our accountant. Now, the value of a, an accountant's copy is that it allows the accountant to do their work, whether it be a tax return, financial statement, whatever, there's undoubtedly certain things that they will have to enter into QuickBooks. They'll have to reclassify a few things. And then those changes need to come back into our, our file, into the main company QuickBooks file. And so that's what we want to accomplish now. By the, uh, since they were using an accountant's copy, they are able to create what we would call an accountant's change file, send that back to us, and now we can just import that. Those changes don't have to manually be made into another copy of the QuickBooks file that would be ours. So in order to accomplish this, I'm going to go to the File drop-down, Send Company File, Accountant Copy, Import Accountant's Changes from File. Now, your menu could look just a little bit different than this, but it should be very close. It's changed just a little bit in different versions of QuickBooks. Like I said, we're using 2015. You may be using a different version. But uh, very close to this, you'll find it uh, in this location on the File drop-down menu. So let's make this selection. And then QuickBooks wants to know where is this accountant's change file that we want to import. Well, I have saved it on a flash drive, which has been designated by my computer when I inserted it as Drive E. So that's what I'm going to select. Now, you may get this in different, a different way. It may come attached to an email uh, or something like that. If it does come attached to an email, just save that attachment to a place on your computer and then navigate it to that, just like we are here in this process of importing into QuickBooks. So here is the change file right here. Joe's Landscape 2015 Accountants Changes. I will select that. Then I'll move down here to the Open button. QuickBooks gives us a list. You can see this is a very small sample file with only one change that we're using for the video, so this list could be very long for you. But this is a list of all the changes that the account made. I could save a PDF of that if I wanted to. Actually, QuickBooks will do that anyway uh, now in the more current versions of QuickBooks. But if I particularly wanted to create that PDF and look at it, I could. I'm just going to click on this Incorporate Accountants Changes. Now QuickBooks will require a backup to be made, so I have to click on that, tell it where I want the backup. I've got this temporary folder right here. I'll just save it there. It'll take just a moment for the backup to complete. There we go. Okay, so the backup is done. I click OK. Now it's incorporating the changes. Now again, it's back to showing me where those changes or what those changes were. You can see that list here in the background. This little message on the top right here is telling me that that PDF file was automatically created even though I didn't select that option. And that's it. I'm done. These changes are now in my file. I can close this window. I can go back to working as normal and my books now match the copy of QuickBooks that my accountant has for whatever work they did. Thanks.